Hey everybody, we're back. I have a friend here to help engage in conversation while we're doing this. Because it's going to be a long way. Trust me. And the friend here I have is my friend James, as usual. So, yeah, how's it going, man? Oh, Dude, come your on. Idea of intellectual conversation. I don't know, I just got off work, alright? Cut me some slack. Uh, <laughs> alright, so, what do you think... What do you think about the shooter? Like, what do you think is going to happen to him? If you're wondering, we're talking about the Boston Marathon shooting. The bombing. Why does he shoot her? <laughs> because he shot at the police. Yeah, true. If you watched the news yesterday, you were able to hear the gun battle unfold. And yeah. Didn't the guy, like, who owned the boat actually, like, go in the boat to check it, check it out? I don't think he went in the boat. That's what I've heard. Well, then I'm surprised he's not dead. But yeah, he was bleeding out pretty badly, dude. He got shot. A lot. And then he sat in a boat. A lot. A day. And then he got shot at some more. I'm amazed they were able to take him alive. I would say if he waited one more hour, he, he, he would have been gone. Gonna, I heard that they might have tear gassed him, I don't know. No, they flashbanged him. That's what I've heard. I've heard both tear gas and flashbangs, so... But, um... That's just... Like, in my opinion... Like, first of all, we already know it's not, like, an international plot, because if it was, he'd already be out of the country by now. Uh, if it was an international plot, it would be. Yeah, if it was an international plot, he'd be, like, shipped down to Guantanamo Bay. No, because he... Dude, think about it. The bombing happened Monday. Alright? The pictures of him weren't released till... Thursday. Like, he went back to school. He went to school at UMass Dartmouth, man. Yeah, I know. He went back to school. So, if it was an international plot, he'd already be out of the U.S. instead of going back to school. I don't know. I have Wait, a point. No, not... <sighs> okay, I think you were... I... Alright. Angus, I think you, you you confused me. I thought you meant like he would have been like they would have taken him and kicked him out of America. Well, they're they're not even reading him in his Miranda rights anyway. So like because they're trying because they're um considering him a international criminal criminal instead of a citizen. Hey, is it a bad thing? Every time I think the word Miranda rights, I think of the line from 21 Jump Street. Is that a bad I think thing? That's perfectly normal. You have the right to suck my dick, asshole. That mo that was a great movie. So. That's a little bad. Do you say it was funnier than Ted? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ted was okay. Ted was a little... Like... Freaky, like, kid... Oh, kid yeah. Father, yeah. Like, what the... Like, what? <laughs> like, the thing is, I don't think people outside of... Like, the people who live outside Boston would understand the... Like, some of the jokes in it. Hada, hada, hada. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was funny. And that, is, and that is why you never date a girl from Boston. Oh hada, that's so bad, man. That's so bad. I'm from Boston. You're from Methuen. What? Aren't you from Methuen? Oh my. 
when did you get the idea that I was from Korea? I, I don't know, I'm a thin one on the brain. I knew you're I know you were born in a town starting with an M. I was born in Boston. I er, I lived in Boston for a couple years and then I moved to Medford and then I moved to here. Ah, uh, Medford, Medford, that's the one I was thinking about. <laughs> uh, I'm a derp. Mefa. Hada. You know who had a you know who I can think of that had a Boston accent? What? Mr. Farron. Hmm. I could see that. Coach Farron. Oh, did you hear about uh what David Ortiz did? What? During the speech? What? Alright, while he's making a speech, do you know what he said? This is our fucking city! And you don't mess with it, and you don't take chat nothing about it! You didn't hear that? Like it- David Ortiz swore, swore when he was like giving a speech about uh, what happened during the ceremony oh. earlier today. Well, I don't- Yeah, like, there uh, he grabbed the mic and he was talking, cause you know how, like he had, like he got his um, like this is the first time of him putting back his uniform on, form on, and he swore on national television. He's my hero. I know. David Ortiz is the man. But. Like you, I think this also makes a good point for the gun violence for people who are against gun restrictions. So, are they gonna make it so that you need a license to buy a pressure cooker now? I don't know. On it, honestly, the whole gun thing, background checks, definitely need better background checks. Like, I think it would've been better if Obama just went for, um, background checks as a separate entity instead of having all of that like all of it on one bill you know what I'm trying to say because the way he had it set up it it was all on one bill which was bad because you know a little too loose Oh, they took one of my melon bolts. Damn it. And they squashed one of my fume shirts. God damn it. Who in the world even watches your videos? That's a very good question. Some a lot of back surprisingly enough, some people actually do watch my videos. Quite surprising. Alright, alright, all right. speaking of which, alright. Our friend Mike is a fucking dick about YouTube. Okay, Angus, we need to give me the give me the give me their last name. The first letter of their last name. The douche one. The one that lives near you. Bad. Get it. Close enough. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, I'm immediately gonna get it hot because, like, if I make a YouTube account and stop uploading stuff, I'm gonna immediately become popular because I met, I was, uh, t I met one of the, uh, a really famous YouTuber that, uh, hangs out with KR, like, KRS Speed or whatever his freaking name is. I don't honestly care about him. Because I met, because I, uh, Talk to her and she's like, "I'll oh, chill enough," and she's gonna tell all her f subscribers to sub at her. But you do realize you need to put decent content out, right? Like, no crap. And he just like, fool himself.
All right. Almost done with this. I am one fourth of the way done to my goal. This is not fun. This is gonna take a while. Cause two flags t took about what ten minutes. Jeez. All right. One sec. Oh, wait, what? Smooth. Real smooth. I, I I did not hear anything you said within the last like five minutes. Well, I man, minute. Yeah, I'm about minute to say five half. minutes is a little too much. Yeah. yeah. I was... Dick. All I could think about was the amazing pizza I made earlier today. Yeah, well, I got sh well, I got Szechuan stuff from my re from the restaurant, so. Well, I made an amazing homemade sausage pizza, and it was delicious. Oh, do you know someone's gonna give me a hundred bucks if I did? What? Made a uh, made a pizza at, from at the restaurant. How would you make a pizza at a Chinese food place? Dude, we have a salamander. It's not that hard. What's a salamander? Oh, it's that thing that, like, yeah, it's it's a it, essentially a salamander is a grill that uh, cooks up upside down, so the heat's coming from the top instead of the bottom. That's what a salamander is. Can I get make this pizza? <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't have a car. I don't have a car or a license, so I couldn't drive down to Market Basket and get supplies. Which mother, sucks. You know, my mother always gets pizza though, I can bring some. You could have told me! Man, I would I would have split the fifty I would give you fifty bucks, man. I'd split the thing. Split the money. So you're gonna wish make John owes me money. Chinese, make a giant Chinese pizza, bring it out and just eat it. <laughs> just make people really confused. Is that what you mean? Uh as in Actually, make a decent pizza, like, what? like make a pepperoni pizza. I, like it has to have at least pepperoni on it. No, you should make it. You should make the Chinese pizza. You should put like Chinese stuff on it. Chinese stuff. Chinese. Yeah. Chinese. Chinese stuff. <laughs> I realize, really? I realize this isn't coming out very well, but still. Really. <laughs> Really? What the hell is wrong with you, man? Uh... Blame John? Blame Sean. <laughs>